Hey guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. And this is a TS Tech Talks video. As you can see, this is a PC version of today's tutorial. And on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your Facebook admin assistant. Now, I created this video previously, but this is for mobile users. And on today's video, I'm showing you guys how to do this on your PC. So um, if you guys are using Facebook group and you want to create an admin support or you want to set up an admin support, this video will guide you and show you how to do just that. Now, the admin support does a lot of awesome things by assisting you when you are not actually available. Um, actually, it's called admin, Facebook group admin assistant. So it supports you whenever you are not available to make some um, changes in the group, some correction in the group, and then to actually um take action by doing a lot of things like um turning off comments when it reach a particular criteria and then um declining post that is being made to the post and then declining or removing posts that is being accepted in the group which actually violates the group um the facebook group rules and regulation so probably you set a rule and you do not want people to violate them this video is going to show you exactly how to do those stuff automatically without you manually doing them all the time because assuming you have so many groups on your facebook and you are not able to manage all of them at once this is actually perfect for you so if you are able to make use of this stuff or understand how it works it will be easier for you to manage your group without um, difficulties now let's dive into that um while i was talking i clicked on the facebook group that i want to um set up the admin assistant and you notice this is a group right now this is a group i want to set up the admin assistant and on the left hand area you notice it has um admin assistant actually is displaying this option because i already clicked on um the group management previously but if it's the first time you are selecting the group management you should notice there is a badge icon right here so you, when you click on the badge icon it will display this option right there on the left hand area now if it displays that option go ahead and click on the admin assistant and then wait for it to load so once it loaded up you can notice there are even more um, information about the group ad, um, admin assistant it says um admin assistant actions and then um, assign actions for admin assistant to perform automatically on your behalf so you don't need to actually do all of these things they are actually done automatically for you and then if you notice below there is even more um, information it says decline incoming post if and then remove published post if and then the last one says turn off commenting if so the if statement actually means and um, whatever um, criteria you set up for them, that is actually what is going to help them to take those actions. So these actually are not going to work if you do not um, tell them what to do. So you need to actually tell them what to do before they will be able to work proper, properly or perfectly for you. So in order to set those things up, go ahead and click on add. Um, actually, let me go right back and close it. Actually, I selected on the decline incoming post. So the first one is a decline incoming post. Now, um, there is a setting that says um, decline incoming post if. So let's click on add to add what will happen if something like that happens between the group and uh, then it's actually going to decline the incoming post. Now, there are several options right there. You can go ahead and scroll down explore whichever one you want to set up and go ahead and set them up but for this case i'm going to like enter the first one which is um spam post i'm going to click on the spam post now you notice um it says put certain um keywords now first before you enter those this um those information you can go ahead and read the description it says keep your group free from unwanted post and other um post formats or and other um form or post format now you notice where it says um post certain keyword now click on this three dotted icon to actually edit the certain keyword you want to see as a spam now click on this three dotted icon and then click on edit so now you notice it says um contains certain keyword now go ahead and click on this area 
for that first option go ahead and add some certain keyword and then i'm going to add the first one the first one since it's going to be a spam message um most spam message always come like this they always say contact hacker um i'm adding this because i already have experience with it so once you're done adding the keyword just click on the add button and then i'm going to write hack and then i'm going to write hacker most people will always come and say um if you need somebody to hack your facebook um contact this and that most of those things are actually spam and they are fake but most of these keywords you might not know all of them until you actually um you actually experience some hackers posting some content on your group so you will notice them posting some several unwanted keywords so you 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 have to um, pay attention to the keyword copy them out and paste them here and you have to be careful in order not to um restrict your main users from posting in the group because if you are declining them from posting these keywords that means um they will not be able to make posts that relate or comments that relate to this certain keyword and it's going to affect your group actually being um user friendly so make sure you are very specific about the keywords you enter so i just entered three right now um what else i'm, I'm not even sure let me see because so many people say call me or jeez, uh, let me just leave it at these three because i'm not very sure at every um, hackers keyword or every spammers keyword and then they always put the link uh let me say dot com because they always add link to their you know what let me just leave it at this but if you guys find a specific keyword just copy them and paste them here and then click on add now i'm going to back out and you notice it says um post certain keywords now you notice the countdown is actually on three right now and then make sure you have this particular option turned on it says post has commonly reported on on the group right now if people have reported this group like several times this is actually going to take effect but if they've never reported it it's going to be so there are two ways actually you see the certain keyword will also be declined and also if the post has been reported um if the post have report have been reported severally on the group is also going to be declined and then if you want to be descriptive enough click on this um advanced option and then you notice it's already on decline incoming message right decline incoming post and then below it it says um authors about so you have to let the author or probably the person leaving that post on your group to know that this is the reason why their post is not going to be accepted so you are going to i want to add more information or more description so that the person will understand exactly what is doing wrong which made um which made the um the post to be declined from being published to the group so i'm going to say we do not allow so i think this is descriptive enough although the one facebook added automatically is okay but i think this one will be clear enough for the person to understand the reason why they are not being able to post and their post is being declined so whenever the person leaves their post and they actually posted something that it's already listed or reported in the group um they are going to get this notification that um sorry we do not um let me add sorry oh typo again sorry we do not allow um such post in the group so i'm going to click on update so it, you notice um i just updated the post criteria and then the next option that i want to do is actually the author now if the author doesn't have a profile image if you also want that enabled just make sure you have it selected so if the author doesn't have a profile image they will not be able to make posts and also make sure to leave them a description to say All right, so if this is um, well descriptive enough, go ahead and click on the update and it will be updated. So for some reason, guys, um, you notice it says post contains fewer than 10 characters. 
I don't think this is um, cool enough. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this particular option because, man, anybody can just want to post a 10 character word and then publish to the group. So I think that is fair enough. And then post contains link to specific site. Now click on this three dotted icon, click on edit to edit this particular option also. Now go ahead and select or add the site that you do not want to um, be share or be linkable to the group. So I'm going to add, um, there is no specific site I have in mind that is a hacker website or a malware website. But if you have any website that people keep posting to your group and you do not want them to post that particular website to your group, go ahead and leave this information or leave the website here and then click on add. If you have even more website, go ahead and add every of the website and then um, make sure you have the correct website. If you don't know the correct website, go to the exact post, copy it, delete the post, and then come here and paste them. It's as simple as that. Once you paste, then you click on add and it will be added. And then I'm going to back out because exactly I do not know um, any websites that shows those things. So like as usual, I did before, make sure you have this option selected and say post have specific link. So make sure you have this descriptive enough for them and then click on update. I already showed you guys how to do all of this. So once you're done with this particular setting, click on apply criteria and this particular criteria will be applied. And then guys, you notice I only added this option for the incoming post, right? Now, if there are more things you want to add, just go ahead and click on add whenever you want. Click on add and then there are several options right there. You can easily select and add and edit them. But for the time being, I'm going to skip that particular option out. And if for some reason you want to delete any particular post or any particular um, criteria, click on this three dotted icon and go ahead and choose delete and it will be deleted. And if you want to edit them, click on edit and add even more website and add even more criteria that you want. So the same thing with every other one, I can click on add publish post and then you can easily see there are several things for the published post now what this does is actually if there is a post that is already published and accepted by the group admin so the post is already online but for some reason you do not want them to have this particular criteria as you want to remove that particular post for some certain reason the post was in conflict with um, a particular stuff or maybe it um it went against the um, post rule, go ahead and click on add and then add some certain keyword that you want. Now you notice the first option right there says post receive 100 comment in the past hour. So click on this three dotted icon, click on edit and then go ahead and edit them, update. And then the same thing right there, click on edit and then go ahead and increase if you want to update it also. And if you're okay, just go ahead and apply the criteria, and the criteria will be applied to that particular field, which um, is actually the turn off comment. So you get to turn off comments probably when the comments have reached a particular stage. And for some reason, guys, you if you also want to remove a published post, click on the add, and then depending on whatever the post has in in contact with you in the group, if either the post actually violated the rule or the post is not in line with um, with some certain um, group rules or, or terms of use, go ahead and click and then do that. And if actually this post um, violated or has been reported five times, then you should go ahead and remove the post automatically. There are several things you guys can do with um, all of these settings. Just make sure you read them, understand them properly, and then update your settings. And once you update your settings, they will all be set in the group and they will all be acting automatically for you even when you are offline. So that is the end of today's video, guys. If you have any question or any challenges doing this particular stuff, please make sure you leave the comment on the comment section. Hopefully I'll be able to answer every one of them when I see them. And if I didn't answer them on time, I'm really sorry about that. Um, there are so many comments coming in. And then guys, if you guys like this video and you like the channel, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more video. Make sure you turn on the bell icon and share this video with your friends. And then I'll see you guys soon on my next video.